I don't enjoy sex with my wife. My name is Olusegun Mokulu. A husband came to me to complain about his wife. And it's, the complaint is very simple. He said he does not enjoy sex with his wife. So I asked to know exactly what the issue was. He explained his own side. And then I spoke with the wife. And I asked the wife, what exactly is going on? So I spoke with the wife. So I heard from the two sides. And then I realized the problem. Number one, the man has two major problems. He said the wife does not um, initiate sex. And because the wife doesn't initiate sex, he doesn't initiate sex. He wants the wife to always be the one coming to him. Secondly, he said the wife does not really participate in the sex. And he just feels like he's raping her. That she just lie down there. Now, when we heard from the wife, the truth became apparent. The wife said, and he agrees too, they've been having a lot of issues in marriage. And a lot of responsibility is falling on the wife. They have children. She has to cater for them. The husband is not the kind of husband that helps the wife or does things in the home. So the wife does almost everything in the house. Now the woman naturally gets tired. And secondly, she's so burdened that the last thing on her mind is sex. But she's available that when the husband wants it, she will willingly give it. She's available. The second part that her husband complained about, she said, or oh, we realize that the man does not have a good relationship with the wife. The man might treat the wife, beat the wife. He doesn't tell the wife about his movement. The wife doesn't know where he's going, when he's coming. Basically, not a good relationship. The wife may be sick and he doesn't care. The wife may go to the hospital. And I've seen this, that wives will, will, go, will look for people to take them to the hospital, even spend a day or two. The husband won't even come and ask, what's wrong with you? And a man like that. And those men still want to have sex with that same woman. That same body that you don't care about. You still want to climb that body. So the wife said, how can she have sex with this man? With a open heart. With joy. When they have not been that way. That she's sorry. She cannot mechanically create joy that she doesn't have and i was wondering why a man would not understand this that the same woman that you don't treat right you expect that woman to become a mercy or ronaldo for you in the in the bedroom the woman that you abuse in the living room you want her to become great for you in the bedroom he can't walk that way. He can't walk. And some men think that even if they might treat their wives, once the sex is great, every problem is resolved. You forgot that this woman has emotions. You forgot that she's a living soul like you. How can you be hurting somebody and at the same time you want to get the best out of that person? It's not done. That's why we teach that sex does not start in the bedroom. It starts with the way you greet each other in the morning. With the way you relate with each other all through the day. You, 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 as a man, husband, 
Learn to make your wife to look forward to be with you. Some of you men don't know. Your wife, they are praying for you to get a job outside the country. Some of you, your, your wife, they wish that you will get a job in another state. They just want you out. And you can't see it. You don't know how to make this woman happy. And sadly, you know how to make other women happy. But you don't know how to make your own wife happy. It can't work that way. She's not an animal. She's a human being. Even we all had parents that would discipline us. And they will do it in love. But you don't want to, you, you can't freely relate with them immediately after that discipline. You, how can, if, if somebody, if somebody abuse you, insult you, injure you, will you be free with that person immediately and then you just be nice and everything will be all right as if nothing had happened between the two of you? If you want your wife to be involved in sex with you, you must love that woman. That's why they call it love making. Some people even try to differentiate it from sex. And I understand the, the reason behind that. There's a difference when somebody feels loved and is giving his or her body in that context. And that you cannot generate it mechanically. You must work at it. You must care for that woman. You must love that woman. Your attitude must show it. Some of you, you are, you are dreadful. Your wife is not even free to speak. She is afraid. And you want to climb that woman that is afraid of you. If you are in the sitting room, that woman cannot sit with you there. She is afraid of you. If you are talking, she doesn't know what she will say that will make you get angry and misbehave. So she panics in the home. And that woman, you will climb her and you will expect her to be joyful, to release herself, to embrace you. She is going to have sex with you with fear and trembling. She is praying in her heart, be done, be done quickly and just leave me. Why, why, don't, you, why don't you understand that? Why, why, can't, why can't you understand that? She is a human being like you. Why? You can't, you can't my treat her and get the best of her in the bed. It's not possible. In fact, you should feel ashamed. And I think that's, that's the problem with the man. He doesn't feel happy that the wife just sleeps there and says, do whatever you want to do. She has made herself available. You can't accuse her of denying you sex. <laughs> How can you accuse somebody who opens her leg wide and says, do whatever you want to do? And you, know, you are still accusing her of denying you sex. How is that done? Where is the denier? Because you don't want to acknowledge the fact that you have not been a good husband to that woman. And you will see men complaining everywhere. My wife is denying me sex. It's not in all cases when you hear men say their wife denied them sex. That the situation is that the wife is saying no to sex. I've seen situations where the problem is that the man wants the woman to initiate sex. And the woman feels sick. She doesn't want sex. So... She didn't initiate it. But he said, if my husband initiated it, I'm available. Then the husband is saying, you are denying me sex. How? If you initiate it, he makes it available. It's not compulsory that we should all want sex. <laughs> if you don't want it, and your spouse is not asking for it, that's no problem. It is if when your spouse asks for it and you say no. That's when you are denying. But you can't say no when I say, see, there is food on the table. Now you said I must come and feed you. No, 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 no. Go and eat. If you don't eat, you can't say, well, they don't give me food. There is food. There is food. You see, you can never get the best out of your wife in the bedroom until you give her the best outside of the bedroom. And many of you that are engaging in sinful sexual activity outside your marriage, you know what you are doing. You know how you make that other woman happy. 
How you spend the whole day calling her. How you can spend one week building up to one moment of five minute sex. You, you will spend one week to build it up. But you will spend one week to damage your wife at home. And expect her within five minutes to be great for you. It does not happen. In fact, let me read something to you in the Bible. You remember uh, after David's sin was revealed by prophet Nathan, Bathsheba became pregnant, of course, and gave birth. And that child, God killed that child. But you see, it is still a child of David. So, and it is still Bathsheba's child. The fact that they sinned does not remove the fact that a woman has a child. And a woman is not going to say, oh, because this child doesn't come from the rightful father, I'm going to hate the child and kill the child. He's still her child. But the child now died. How do you expect a woman who has lost a child to feel? Let me show you what David, David, as at that time, with all your own civilization, you don't know this simple wisdom that David knows. Let me read the wisdom to you. In 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24, the Bible says, And David comforted Bathsheba, his wife, and went in unto her, and lay with her, and she bare a son, and he called his name Solomon, and the Lord loved him. Did you see the process here? The first thing David did was to comfort his wife. The Bible says, and David comforted Bathsheba, his wife. Are you a comfort to your wife? Do you comfort your wife? Do you address the pain in her heart? The burdens in her heart? All the problems you have brought to the home? Do you address it? And then you want that woman to be great for you? It can happen. So we say, when we married, she was great. We used to do it and enjoy it. Yes. But now that you have been married, you've created a lot of problems for that woman. Her heart is troubled. She is not at peace. She is not happy. Every single time you let her know that this is my house. This is my house. I'm the one that built this house. And you, you, you make her feel like without you, she can't go anywhere. And you want that woman to be happy with you. You want to dominate her and control her. Many times, this woman, she's crying. There are tears she can't explain to anybody. She will sit down and tears will be flowing. Her children are the only thing she's got. Right under your nose. But David was wise enough to know that before you sleep with a woman, you must comfort her. David comforted his wife Bathsheba. Console her. Address the pain. Why would she not conceive? And why would she not bring forth a great child like Solomon? <laughs> you can imagine and trust David. <laughs> you can trust bro David and sister Bathsheba. <laughs> he comforted her. And she conceived. Look at the process. And David comforted Bathsheba, his wife, and went in unto her. You see, there is a difference with, and went in unto her, and lay with her. They are different. <laughs> they are not the same thing. He first went in unto her, before he laid with her. And thank God it was her ovulation. It's a perfect timing. And she conceived. And their brother, go and repent. Go and repent. This one that you are making sex sound like uh, it is it is your door, doorway to heaven. Go and repent. Go and care for that woman. Don't it is not sex you will use to fix marital problem. Go and fix your marital problem. Apologize to that woman. Call her into the room. Need to apologize. Tell her you are sorry. Ask for her forgiveness. Begin to change. Ask God for the grace to love your wife as Christ loved the church. You'll be amazed. This sex you are looking for is simple. This thing you want. Oh. Our women, don't let them hear. 
our women, they are soft at heart. They are very forgiving. Don't, let, don't tell them I told you. They are very forgiving. You just go and kneel down, apologize to her, do the right thing, make her happy, greet her well, sit down, plant things with her. You'll be the one that will, that will drag you. Don't tell. Don't reveal our... This is just a little secret between you, between us as guys. You know, you understand? Go and comfort that woman. Build your own life too, to show the examples of Jesus. Because your kids are watching. And it's better not to have children than to have bastards. To raise children that will go and be problem to another another group of persons. Your, your, your sons may be problem to another woman. Your daughters may become problem to another man's son. Because you are not showing good example in the home. You need to repent. That's the starting point. That's the starting point. That woman is waiting. She wants you also. But you, this is your behavior. Ah, some of you are so unfriendly. Any little thing. Abba. If care is not taking, you will slap her when you are talking to her. Any little thing, you will abuse her. You tell her that what are you contributing to this home? You don't know those words, hot. You don't know the hot. You don't know they are going to her heart. That same heart is what will produce great sex for you. You think that heart can produce great sex for you on the bed? Repent. Confess your sins to God. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the Holy Spirit and you shall be saved. Be baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Start afresh. Huh? Go and start afresh. Go and learn the wisdom of God for marriage. It's not difficult. You love that woman. Ah, eyes have not seen what your wife can be to you when she's feel greatly loved by you. Go and love that woman. Go and love her. Go and love her. Go and love her. The Bible says, husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself. Go and give yourself to your wife. Oh, you are giving yourself to friends. Friends are important to you. That's why that woman cannot question, where are you coming from? Where are you going? She can't say anything. He says, it's my life. Why will you be monitoring me? She's bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh. You, seem, you don't seem to know marriage. How can you be married and say somebody should not ask you where you are going or where you are coming from? Why then did you marry? Don't you understand that that body you are carrying everywhere is also her own body? You are not saying she can't question you. You are coming back late at night. You say your wife cannot question you. You are traveling to places your wife doesn't know. You say she cannot question you. You say your phone is your privacy. No, that's, sorry. There is no privacy in marriage. You are now one. The Bible says the man and the woman, they were both naked and were not ashamed. You are now one. So you must understand marriage. You must live marriage correctly. Go and love that woman. Go and love that woman. And if you don't love that woman, it's a disobedience to God. To love your wife is not an advice. You are not doing that in favor. It is a commandment of the Lord to you. If you don't do it, you are living in disobedience. Every disobedience is a sin. No sinner shall inherit the kingdom of God. I pray you will receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. And as a wife, when he comes, please forgive her. Eh? Forgive her. You know what I mean? God bless you. My name is Olusia Gumokwolu. If you need counsel or you want to reach us, our email address and phone number, they are in the description below. All our social media handles, they are also there. And in case you want to enroll for our free Bible marriage course for married couples, please email the email address there, BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com. The email address is right below. Just send us an email. Tell us you want to enroll for the course. And most importantly, tell us you are married because we have another one for single couples. I pray that the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ will reign in your home in the name of Jesus. God bless you.